All right, so what is going on guys? Today we're gonna be putting the hybrid racing shifter in and just fix the little things that are missing that we have. The map sensor normally originally goes here, but we did buy the little K-Tune little block off thing for that. And normally if you buy the K-Tune 72 mil throttle body, it does come with hardware so you can plug up the bottom ports and of course for um, the screw for the map sensor. So. I'm gonna put that in there. God, I, I love uh, CNC and like aluminum stuff. So nice. Not too tight. There we go. Now, underneath here, you see those two holes for the outer control valve. We're gonna be putting these two little nipples in. And uh, nipples, what do I call them? Nipples, but. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think I might use some thread seal tape on this. Just, just cause, you know, no vacuum leaks or whatever. Alright, so, got some thread seal tape. Both of them. And then, uh, I'm just gonna take off the map since we're plug. Come on. There we go. Oh no. Come back. Screw it in there. Just like that. Or filming and doing this. Now I'm just gonna tighten those down and throttle back should be set. I still have to pull this off uh, to port match this, so I'll have a video on that too. We're gonna be using a Dremel. All the suspension stuff, our brother's doing it right now. He's doing the lower control arms right now. He need to get new uh, hard race, um, what is it? Compliance. Compliance bushings. And now we are gonna be putting this in. This is the hybrid racing bolt-in shifter or no cut shifter I mean so that means you don't have to cut anything because it just goes right underneath it so there's that and I think this is the hardware oh and the top portion of the shifter which we will be installing last so that will show in the box for now. I'm guessing we take these off to get to the cables, but I think we still have to take it off to bolt these up. Uh, if I'm correct, these two line up to the factory holes where the um, original shift linkages for the single cam RB series. And these two are the ones that you're gonna have to drill into your car um, and then thread it in. Let's uh, get this started. Also, a quick tip, if you guys do not know how to install the shifter, if you go on the hybrid racing site and go to the shifter you have, this is the Z3 case swap shifter. Just go down here, scroll to install guide. It'll normally be on description, click on install guide, view install guide. Oh, wait, uh, oh my god, the side's bugging out. There we go. And then it should pop up. So that is correct. So these two holes are going to go to the factory location where the stock shifter is, and then the other two you will have to mark out and drill. And yeah, this just shows how to do everything. So if you guys don't understand this video, you guys can always go to this site and look at it. First thing you wanna do is of course, take off the Allen. Oh, don't lose the washers. Oh no. put these in a safe spot so I don't lose them. That's cool how it has a hybrid racing logo engraved on there or pressed in there. All right, so I'm currently underneath my brother's car and let me see if I can film this somehow. This is extremely hard to film. Uh, okay, that would do. This is the hard way to give you so let me just make sure the threads are right. So, how hard Nice, perfect, perfect thread pitch. All right, so shifters in. Let's 
so what we're gonna do is line up these two and then mark these two over here once these two are perfectly lined up. So this one's right here. Oh wow, this one's pretty tight because the spring's in the way. I should pull this spring off. With these two mounted up to the stock factory location, now this one sits right on the frame. So we're gonna punch these in and then drill it out and then we have to go in from the top so we gotta take off the, uh, the center console to bolt these in from up top. And of course we're gonna use some Loctite. I have no idea where I'm gonna punch it so I'm just gonna use some white paint or Sharpie. Take this back out and then uh, drill the holes in. And uh, I thought this is sitting close, but it's because the spring's missing. So if I pull the spring back, you see the shifter goes back so it won't hit the tunnel. All right, looking cool. Sucks that the hybrid racing plates right there, you don't really see unless you're underneath the car. I drilled two tiny holes. I'm gonna drill the rest from the top because all the metal shavings are falling down and I don't want it to get in my eye or anything. The holes I drilled underneath are right here. I'm just gonna expand it a little bit more, um, bit by bit. And there we go, drilled out. Made it slightly larger so it has some room to play. And these are going to go in from the top into the shifter. So we'll leave two up top and the other two go in these two. So time to bolt the shifter up. And once you have these two fully secured, make sure to tie these two down. Once you have your holes lined up and that's it. And I just have to go underneath and put the spring back in because this is supposed to sit. Uh, where is it? Well, this was sit more forward because the spring's not there. So, I'm gonna tie these down and we should be good to go. So, back underneath the car, I put the spring back in. Now, this thing should sit away from the frame. Now, we're gonna put the shifter cables in and you just have that one plate that goes in between the cables. So, they say to run it through here first before bringing it to the transmission. So, we're gonna install it from this side first, and then uh, might go through here. Uh, yeah, we'll probably go through here to route it because the exhaust is gonna sit down here so it doesn't get pretty hot. We wanna burn the cables. This is the cables. I think this is the side. Yeah, this is the side for the actual shifter. So these are the cables we're gonna be using. Hybrid racing, of course. And this is gonna be for the shifter. We're gonna take off these clips. I'm gonna clip right over to the little black clips that, um, that are on the, um, the shifter. And I don't think we need this. I think this is for when you run it through the, was it the heater hose or that little block of plate, but not too sure. And of course this right here is for the exhaust. And this goes to the transmission. And I think this does give you yeah, so it can slide into the, um, the transmission. Ugh. All right, so for these, I was saying like they're like little cups. You're gonna take this clip off. Actually, I think it should just lock in place if I push it over. Let's see. Oh yeah, so, uh, focus, all right, so they just snap in place. If you push it on the black thing, it will snap in place. But I'm gonna route the cable first through here, and then uh, put the cable in there. And then we're gonna use that one plate to push it in and bolt it down with three little Allen keys. And then put the plate back on and we should be good. All right. Kinda like this. So we'll have this go right here on this one. I'm gonna laugh if I did this wrong, but cool. There's one, and then the second one. Here. Oh, These things are a bit tight to get on. This is a lot harder than I expected. There we go. All right. Um, 
Now I'm gonna put the plate in between. And I don't think I need this black piece. But uh, these have to get tied down for sure. What I'm gonna do is go grab that plate, put this in. I figured I'll take this off, so I might just cut it off. And uh, I guess you can't route it through there because you have to run it underneath the subframe. So it has that perfect uh, slack. Kind of wish they made a shorter one so you could just ride it straight through there. It'd be a lot cleaner, but it is what it is. Alright, and once you figure out which uh, which one you're using, make sure you grab the little C clip that they give you and you're gonna slide it right in that groove. Uh, focus. In that groove right there so you don't lose it. And once you got that clip in place, the little black piece will come out. Slide this in, just like so. And then grab one of these little pins. Just like that. Try to just, yep, that should be good. And this one, I feel like I'm missing something. It's loose. But there's nothing in here that I see that was for it. Minus these, these big ones are for these. Go through the gears, go. First, second, third, fourth, Fifth, uh, we do that. <laughs> First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, and go reverse. Okay, so how it works. You like the shifter though? It's hard. <laughs> yeah, you used to. <sighs> All right. Well, it took this it took me a while to figure it out. I guess I have the cables backwards, and um. I put this plate in, I just have to screw it down. I had to adjust these little things right here because it wouldn't go into gear. But now I'm gonna tighten up, put the clips back on and put the cover on and the shifter's done. And I need to take this off, I need to cut this off. Uh, we can't really use this for anything. Once you have everything bolted up, we're gonna use that bracket up um, that it came with to mount it right here, but we'll do that some other time, it's getting dark. Time to put this plate on. By far, this was probably the hardest install. I know it's just a shifter, but there's just the cables and all that lining this thing up. All right, and it's on the side. Well, there we have it. That took a bit longer than expected, but first time messing with, this thing is very, very notchy. Here's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then reverse. Okay. Cool. Hybrid Racing makes one of the nicest looking shifters. Super, super fancy. All right, time to put the interior back in and that's it. So that is the okay install of <laughs> the hybrid no cut shifter. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. No sounds, just computing. There's probably a lot more better tutorials than this. It's in and it works. So peace out guys.